Good uh, folks today out there uh, with first starting first with the uh, uh, what do you call that geopolitical news especially about uh, the way the nuclear plant was taken over and kind of also got a bomb hit or missile hit in 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 uh, Ukraine kind of kind of dangerous and sad and seeing P Putin seems to have lost the plot but while everybody's saying a lot, let me just tell you the situation report as coming out from the foreign policy press written by Robbie Grammer and Jack De uh, Detz. It says the Ukraine crisis is breaking all the rules. Interesting read that you'll have. If you blinked, you might have missed it. On Saturday, Germany sent anti-aircraft and anti-tank weapons to Ukraine, ending a three-year decade-long streak of not sending arms to active war zones. By the next night, the European Union was dangling membership to Ukraine and Switzerland, whose neutrality survived even World War II, had forsworn its neutra neutrality to join, the e join in EU sanctions on Russia. By Monday, the United States reportedly sent Stinger anti-aircraft missiles to help the Ukrainian military target low-flying Russian aircraft and helicopters, a powerful weapon that the Pentagon has mostly kept on the shelf since arming the Afghan Mujahideen against the Soviet Union in the 80s. So, hey, welcome. If that's enough, if that's enough news to make your head spin, you're not alone. The Ukraine crisis is shattering a series of long-held foreign policy shibboleths in a frenzied blur of headlines. And US and European officials are still struggling to figure out the implications. NATO countries are rearming to deal with the threat of revanches Russia and after years of cajoling from the United States to spend more on defense. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a budget that would increase defense spending to 2% of GDP in line with NATO's long-held target. This has the potential to change German foreign policy in the long term. Russia dead as a dodo. Rachel Rizzo, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council's Europe Center, tells Citrep, told Citrep in a call over the weekend, I think the way the Germans see this is a threat to post-World War II stability. Meanwhile, Poland inundated with a flood of more than 547,000 Ukrainian ref refugees crossing the border has boosted defense spending to 3% above the alliance threshold. And the changes aren't just limited to Europe. The Biden administration is frantically rewriting its foreign policy strategies to catch up with the news. The White House has also taken steps alongside European allies to put Russia in a grip of maximum pressure-like sanctions that prevent Russia's central bank from defending the ruble and the country's oligarchs from accessing their assets, drawing rare bipartisan applause. Goodbye, Trump. No one... Not even Joe Biden, Vladimir Putin or the two leaders top spies seem to know how this will end. But the United States is convinced that the gravitational shift in foreign policy will leave Russia in dire straits. Do you hear you Indian old Neanderthal dinosaurs, policy wonks, including, including people like Sanjay Baru, all need spring cleaning. But the United States is convinced, okay. When the history of this era is written, Putin's war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and rest of the world stronger, Biden said in his State of the Union address on Tuesday night. But let's see what really happens to China. Now, the next section is basically to read out for all the headline news on this area for the last two days, folks. Cheers. So now for some interesting editorials. This one, uh, Indian Express, the abstention. India's nuanced position on Ukraine, seen in its stance on UNSC resolution, reflects the challenging terrain it stands on and most certainly does. And what do we have PK Arun and Seema Sarohi jostle about? India's neutra neutrality on Ukraine goes beyond Russian armed dependency and is understood in the US, as was Seema Sarohi writes. And TK Arun's right. Ukraine must be neutral. And I think this is where the West lost the plot. If Ukraine becomes part of NATO today, the entire Western military alliance would be obliged to start a war over Crimea. The war would pit nuclear Russia against three nuclear powers, the US, Britain and France. What does Seema Suri write? India's grand juggling act. She says, not to forget Pakistan as it moves closer to both Imran Khan's visit to Moscow the day Putin ordered the invasion has the makings of a nascent China-Russian-Pakistan axis. The very fact the visit took place was significant. Back in 2014, Putin lifted the arms embargo against Pakistan, sold helicopters, gunships four years later, and the two countries have done military exercises. India faces an emboldened China and a weakened Russia with Pakistan creating wiggle room. 
Some Indian analysts argue that Indian should reduce the dependence on Russia for weapons. It's a worthy idea, but implementation is tricky. It absolutely is. But what's happening is beginning to hurt Russia. Right? Like this is the best one. Boeing, Exxon, Apple cut business ties with Russia. So basically, like I said yesterday, who's going to service the fleets? When Vladimir Putin ruptured global stability is something that Prashant Jha writes. So the good news is that it will strengthen Western unity. And yes, that's good news since the alternative paradigm and alternative powers are not particular, particularly attractive options. And that's for all Indians, right? We really can't live in a Chinese kind of environment or Russian. Forget American pressure to guard its own principles and interests. Delhi needs to be acutely conscious of the perils of the path Russia has embarked upon and adapt its diplomatic and strategic position accordingly. Hear he, hear all. And that's what Raja Mohan writes. United against a strong man. Europe, including Germany and France, is opposing Vladimir Putin's imperialist ambitions. India must distinguish between Putin and Russia. Just a week ago, Germany was the weak link in the Western coalition trying to persuade Russian President Putin to dial down the crisis in Ukraine. This week, Germany, the richest country in Europe and with the greatest political empathy towards Russia, has thrown its lot with its European and American partners to stand up against Putin's war in Ukraine. And this, folks, probably was America's aim. Unless Putin reverses course quickly, Russia will pay a heavy price for his unseemly ambition. Delhi has no reason to go down with Putin on this disastrous path. It must recognize that Putin and Russia are not the same, are not the same. India must hope that a great nation like Russia will endure and is not a prolonged hostage to a strong man's delusion and terrible miscalculations. Okay. And what is Aditya Dave right? He says, the strain when you abstain, fence sitting on Ukraine's risks may has many repercussions for India from Indo-Pacific to the EU trade deal, folks. Indian policymakers must wonder whether apparent re-emergence of international blocs and the wider geopolitical shift shaping these relationships mean that their effort to non-alienate Russia will provide diminishing returns. India will continue to be a crucial partner for the West and the Indo-Pacific, but it will need to carefully thread the diplomatic needle. Right. And what is Beijing doing? Beijing is hedging a calling to Saibal Daskupta. He says, Curiously, China is now being forced to take the non-alignment route by reducing its linkages with Russia and continuing to oppose the US at the political level. Though it has vast influence, most of China's footprint through the BRI is in the poorer regions of the world. It has little political influence in Europe and the US. At the same time, China wants to stick to its stand that sovereignty and territorial integrity of a country are inviolable. This is the argument it ma uh, makes for rejecting foreign vices and opinion about trouble spots like Tibet, Xinjiang, and Hong Kong. China is now saying that it respects Ukraine's sovereignty and is opposed to war. You got to listen to all this, right? And let me just say, when we say we are non-aligned or, you know, balanced, etc. But when your dependence on Russia, hear this, Russia, on its arms and equipment, forces you to make decisions that are not exactly what you want to make, shows that you're hardly balancing and that you're for actually aligned. And India needs to change that. It's a difficult, it's difficult. Everybody acknowledges that, including the US. But we got to get off the wall, folks, because this bear look may be looking far, but it's knocking on our door just like it did when it invaded Afghanistan. Jai Hind. Domestically, a shameful exhibition by Indian ministers when these children who traumatized have had to go through shelling, food, hunger, made a mockery of by people like, uh, what's it called, Pat and Jyoti Raj Sindhya. And then over and above that, Modi, who actually flew them into Varanasi. Is he for real? Flew them into a Varanasi for election campaign and he's giving them, professing them. You know, I never knew people had to go overseas. If the, you know, if, oh God, it makes you sick. It really does. But what do we have here, right? Hindustan Times yesterday, what did it say? As we open this damn thing up, what do we got here? All right, pages and pages now of advertisement, poor advertisement. India pushes for dialogue as Quad takes up Ukraine war. Russia, Ukraine agree to set up human corridor. Thousands more back on home on special flights, okay? But, but, but. What do we have here? Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Then we go to the back pages. Ukraine war strategic port city falls to Russian forces. 
asked India to oppose Russia's aggression, says UN. One million refugees fled Ukraine, says UNHCR. EU sanctions on Russia starting to have an effect. China denies it, asks Russia to stall Ukraine attack till after game. That's kind of sad if that happens, right? What do the Times of India say? Okay, lots of ads. I guess you guys are making a lot of money now. After three abstentions, US calls upon India to distance itself from Russia. Returning students may be placed in med colleges. Hey, pray where are they? First Ukraine city falls to Russian assault. Russian troops confuse kids who don't know why they are in Ukraine. Moscow makes gains in south. Invasion is going according to plan. Kiev using civilians as shields, says Putin. Across Asia, mixed reactions to conflict. China never told whatever. War unites Eastern Europe in Iran. And two cargo ships hit by blast around Ukraine. Seafarer killed. And moral was it got 15,000 find refuge and safety in Kiev subway. Okay. What do we have in the middle? Where's the foreign policy page here, right? So oh, nothing. Government exploring ways to help evacuate complete uh, students complete studies. No student taken hostage. Thousand have left Kharkiv, but many still stuck, says government. What do we have here? India not abdicating responsibility. It is ad advancing its own interest. These are the guys who are balancing, balancing Walters. There should be a Ukraine in Asia Pacific Quad leaders. There shouldn't be a Ukraine. Obviously, we're talking about Taiwan. At UNHRC, India says respect rights of Ukrainians but doesn't slam Russia. US, US pulls cables saying India in Russia camp. US also acknowledges India's implicit criticism of Russia. Okay. Something there, right? What do we have in the Indian Express? We have Modi Putin talk. Russia says Kiev holds students hostage, will work on way out. Putin is another big liar. Is. You know what's getting into me is he's as big a liar as our president, right? And as as big a liar as as she and as big a liar as as what do we have there? As Trump was, right? I know Trump was the teacher of them all, right? UNGA rebukes Russia, India abstains again with Pak, Lanka, Bangladesh. At State of Union, Biden vows to make Putin pay. And he will, I tell you, let me tell you, let's just be on the right side. Flights from India hit curbs over Russia, okay? Troubles at Ukraine border due to huge number system breakdown, okay? IAF deploys three C-17 transport aircraft to evacuate India. And what happened on this aircraft is silly, but somebody should smack his face left, right and center, right? He is actually saying, uh, first he starts up with Bharat Mata Ki Jai and then he wants Modi Zindabad and uh, 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 whatever, something for life. He wants to give him blessings for life. Is he for real? Probably not because this is what's happening in India as of now, right? Everybody just is a, is a kiss ass, whatever. With late night airstrike, Russia takes over Europe's biggest nuclear plant in Ukraine. UNHRC votes to approve violations, India abstains, right? 221 Indian sailors stranded amid Black Sea blockade. But things are just, you know, out of control, you know, and, and I think there's some, to a certain extent, what I see is the plot has been lost by good old, uh, 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 what's his name, Mr. Putin, right? Eye on China, um, no, this is something else, right? What do we have here? Refusal? No, 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 no. What do we have here? Anything? Shuddering in WR, W2 bunkers, Indian students in Sami wait to be rescued. Hey, where the hell is Jyoti? <laughs> where the hell is Jyoti? Yeah. Jyoti is nowhere to be found. Instead, strutting out like a stuffed peacock. International airfares up as Ukraine crisis sends all prices soaring. <laughs> Nothing really much here. What do we have? What do the Eco Times tell us yesterday? I think they, they, they do tell us something interesting. Indian sends ministers to Ukraine's neighbors. To India abstains at vote once again. Oh. Tough times, right? Because GDP is really, really going to get severely blasted in this whole process, right? So what do we have here? Warn, oh, warn. Russia attacks, takes control of Europe's largest nuclear plant. Thank God for Vajpayee and make, getting us to be nuclear, right? What do we have here? US, US, EU step up sanctions against Russia. They're beginning to bite. Ukraine crisis to boost resolve in Indo-Pacific says US. Ukraine pres president survived three assassination attempts. So that's basically generally right. Generally what India is covering, right? Abstination, is it an option anymore? I doubt it. But hey, let's hear some comments genuine comments in the editorial that I'll do in the next section. Cheers.